welcome back and thanks for coming back for the second reaction today as we continue our Before They Were Love Bites series. If you missed the earlier reaction to A Drop of Joker featuring Miyako, definitely go back after this one and check it out. It's a totally different side of Miyako for sure. This time we're taking another like look at Love Bites' newest member, Fami. Uh, we've reacted to a few of her songs now, and we're getting to know what she's capable of. Um, this time we're taking a look at another original of hers titled Paun, which I believe means something along the lines of crying hard or sadness. Uh, let's see what Fami has for us this time. Uh, link to this original will be in the description below. All right, let's go. Well, this has got a nice little groove to it, wouldn't you say? Uh, nice little head bop going on there. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm enjoying it. I mean, the last one we listened to, and even one of the other ones before that, at some point in there, there was just a hint of rock and metal in here. Uh, let's see if she does it again this time. That was interesting. It was like an extra beat added into it um, for that transition. Uh, and you can hear her bass in the background, and it's right on. I mean, this is what they hired her for in Love Bites. Um, this obviously isn't metal. And there's been a lot of speculation on how is she going to handle this. Uh, I've made my point pretty, pretty sp specific. Um, for me, I know a lot of you, Love Bites is your favorite band of all time, so it's hard to see when a member leaves. It happened to me with Dream Theater, uh, when Mike Portnoy left the band and they replaced him with Mike Mangini. We know that Fami is a fantastic composer and uh, instrumentalist. She's a fantastic musician all around. I would have to believe that at this point in time, Love Bites has already written a bunch of songs before they made her their choice um, in Fami. Uh, whether they've writ written all of them, I, I don't know that, but I would imagine that majority of the next album is probably already written. Uh, so it would be, leave them in the same boat as in my personal experience when Mangini joined Dream Theater. All the parts were already written, um, including the drum parts. Uh, and Mangini basically just played them, you know, added his little things in there when he needed to, and I'm assuming that'll be the same exact thing that happens here, where she's going to play, for, at least for the first album, play what's written and then add her little parts in. You know, we all could be completely wrong about that. But that would be my guess of how it's going to work. Because I can't imagine they've just been sitting around on hiatus and not doing anything. Uh, and then once the follow-up album comes out, is you'll, we might start to see more of uh, her influence into it. Uh, very similar to what happened with Mangini, where the follow-up album had more of his influence. I don't remember if he had any writing credits or not, but definitely his influence and him, he created his own drum parts and stuff for those things. I would imagine the same thing is going gonna, is gonna to happen here. Uh, so, but 
regardless, it's all speculation. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And I'm going to be happy no matter what. So let's keep going with this song. That little extra beat there, that's cool. Very nice. Nice. That whole transition part right there, very, very jazzy, um, which is kind of given, given uh, some of the loud technique that she uses for bass playing. And I don't know anything about bass playing, except it sounds cool when it's done really right. And she does things really right. But obviously there's some jazz influence in there, jazz infusion. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Ooh, that, that was really sweet. That blast, the double bass blast there. Nothing had to do with Fami there, but that I really like that sound. Let's hear that again. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. That might not even been double bass. That could have been Tom. Oh, nice build up. Mm. Oh, oh. Little dubstep. Very nice. Yeah, I know that wasn't real dubstep, but it had dubstep effect of like the chatter or the 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 skipping. Like it. Let's talk. Yeah, I mean, I've said this before. I'm not too worried at this point um, how she is going to replace Miho. Um, like I said in during this video, I think how what I said is probably how it's going to work out, um, and I'm not too worried about that. That gives her not only an entire album and most likely tour to get to know the other members and how they work together so well or not. You don't, we don't really know. Um, and then later on, move on to help. I mean, I just have to imagine that's how it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, this was a nice boppy feeling song. A lot of jazz influence in there. Fusion. It was even a little bit of hip hop perhaps in there. It's a cool mixture of things. Um, so yeah, I'm excited regardless to see what's going to happen as things progress with Love Bites. But regardless, I really enjoyed this one.
Um, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click, click that notification bell. You can also leave any suggestions for future reactions in the comments below, and they'll be added to my list for me to react to it a longer at some time. Don't forget, I also stream on Twitch. So if you enjoy uh, concert live streams and gaming, you know, then go ahead and follow me over there. Uh, you won't be disappointed. We have a great time no matter what we do. Uh, also, Discord. We have a Discord channel. Um, there's a link in the description. We, uh, we're building a great, great community over there, and I want you guys to be part of it. Um, no matter who, who the organization, what band we're part of, we're all mixing together and having a great time. There's a couple things that are going to be exclusive on Discord. I'll have a couple discord exclusive giveaways as well as right now you guys on discord are getting to help me decide what to stream come when it comes time for our holiday stream at the end of end of december so head on over to discord join us and check out everything we have to offer you're not gonna be disappointed uh links to my discord and all my social media is in the description below if you want to support the channel Join us on Buy Me A Coffee, uh, where you can find the original videos for anything that was blocked or edited for YouTube. And you can also watch those concert streams that you might have missed live on Twitch. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and check us out. There's a link in the description for that as well. Don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll, where you guys tell me what to react to every Friday. Very simple. Community tab. Poll. Vote for the band. Whoever wins. That's who I react to. It's simple. It's guaranteed. We always find something interesting over there so you guys just have to vote and leave the rest to me all right so with that i hope everyone has a great day and i'll catch you all next time